Well, let's dollars. stay on that, Julie, because I do want to ask you about a possible plan B, because this whole email scandal making it perfectly clear to Democrats like Julie that they may need a second plan for 2016. An opinion writer for The Washington Examiner writes, this scandal goes beyond the previous ones because those only demonstrate the Clinton's steadfast belief that they are above the law. This scandal is unique because it also throws Clinton's competence and even her intelligence into question. Democrats would be wise to put plan B into action right now. But who could they rally instead of Hillary? Other possible candidates include Vice President Uncle Joe Biden, waiting in the wings, as Harris points out, <laughs> warming up. <laughs> Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, and former Senator Jim Webb. All of this as a trio of liberal groups is using the ongoing Clinton controversy to push for an Elizabeth Warren run. So Julie, are Democrats panicked about this? I don't think Democrats are panicked, but I think Democrats feel that if this is the best that she's going to do, she needs to step up her game immediately, whether she announces it gets a campaign staff around her. I, I don't know. I mean, there needs to be something done because we cannot go into a national campaign with this kind of performance. What I saw yesterday, I, first I read it on paper, and I said, <laughs> okay, and then I saw it live, and it, to me, usually when you see something live, they actually do a better job than when you read it on paper. Usually. This was yeah. worse. Yeah. And so, so, what, so what you're saying is Democrats are panicked. What I'm saying is I'm not panicked <laughs> yet, but I'm saying that if this continues to be the way she's going to yeah. operate a shadow campaign or even a real campaign, then, yeah, I think Democrats are going to start to get panicked. But, Dr. Manny, she's overcome so much before oh, that got, I'm not sure this, got this hurts in, her as she much got this as I think it, it should. This is the plot of season four of House of Cards. Uh -huh. This is exactly what's going to happen. You're going to find other Democrats who are going to get into the field of the, you know, for, to run for presidency, which is exactly what she wants. They have are going to look at them and say, oh, they're too liberal. Look, they don't have enough mm. substance. Oh, they have this. And then she's going to come out as the savior of the Democratic Party. Bingo. There goes the emails. Two points. And she wins the game. Okay. Well, That's it's you. Great. Oh, you an theory. NBA announcer. That <laughs> was know, awesome. Okay, Dr. Man, I just want to say, like, I agree with your TV analogy. I mean, this is stranger than fiction, but it's closer to Veep than it is House of Cards. <laughs> House I mean, of Cards, much better, much better show. Much better show. Well, Veep is very entertaining, and it's about a bumbling <laughs> candidate that, that really is quite incredible competent and her incompetency is what makes it so laughable. Unfortunately, Hillary hasn't quite gotten the endearing quality that Julia Louis-Dreyfus has mastered. But this is real life, Harris. This mm. isn't a sitcom. I mean, this is sensitive foreign policy documents that are sitting in some lady's basement in Chappaqua. So now, because you know how I like to do puzzles, now <laughs> some of the pieces you that I had on dropped... Survivor, by the way. What? Yeah. Harris on You'd be Survivor. good on Survivor. Oh, she oh, would really? be amazing. Oh, my gosh. Always win that game. Go ahead. And I need to skip a few meals, too, so that would help me oh, out. No. But no, I mean, I finally feel like I've picked up some of the puzzle pieces that fell on the carpet that I couldn't see before, and I'm putting them into place. Who's not on that list? Who's at the State Department? Who has access, probably, to those emails ahead of anybody? John Kerry. Who's trying to get a deal right now with the president with Iran and build his own legacy points? Who's trying to score and maybe have people be able to point to some of those accomplishments at state that some of the critics mm. say that you can't do with Hillary Clinton? John Kerry. I, I don't know. I just think See, that maybe you want to add his name or his face to the graphic. There you go. Do you See, think he's going to run for president? I'm because just, that is, I, I fit, seriously, you're, yes. You're I smell think what I'm putting down here? <laughs> that, that unfulfilled, unrequited yeah. lust for the presidency. There you go. And I think you're, and he and does he's not no behave like a diplomat. He behaves like a politician. And I think you are absolutely. Whoa, this there is like the X-Files. Wait, like, like, clean art is like Scaramouche. She's running again. Fans getting back together. That's a nice vote, though. It is a nice vote. He didn't pay taxes. On it. See, my thought is a little bit more sinister. Like Ed Klein was on Fox and Friends this morning, and he says that he thinks that this came from Obama and Valerie Jarrett, that they leaked the information. You think Valerie Jarrett wants to run for president? I think that they want to keep Hillary Clinton on a short leash. And so they put this out there to say, we're going to hold this over your head. Don't you dare triangulate and destroy oh, our legacy. conspiracy theories. This is like the X-Files. And where is the server? Nobody knows. All right.